Hi everyone, welcome back to Sedu Sitsavi Tutorials. We are here with a new video and this will be beneficial for both pharmacy and chemistry professionals. In this video, I will discuss about the classification of anti-malarial drugs based on its chemistry. Also, I will be discussing about the basic chemical nucleus for each class of drugs. So without any further delay, let's move on. Now, before I begin the first class of drug, I want you to identify this particular heterocyclic ring. Yes, uh, this is called as quinolin, which is nothing but a fusion of benzene ring with a pyridine ring. And the numbering of quinolin uh, starts from the nitrogen atom and it goes on like this. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, if you attach an amino group at the fourth position of quinolin, it would become 4-aminoquinolin. Some of the derivatives of 4-aminoquinolin were shown to have anti-malarial properties and the drugs belonging to this category are chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, piperacune and amodiacune. Now again, this is another quinolin ring and uh, the numbering goes on like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 this time, if you attach an amino group at the 8th position of quinolin, it would become 8-aminoquinolin. And some of the derivatives of 8-aminoquinolin were found to have anti-malarial properties. And the drugs belonging to this category include primacune, parmacune, pentacune, bulacune, tafinocune. Now again, quinolin. This time, I am not going to do the numbering as you all are pretty much familiar with it by now. Now, if you attach a CH2OH group at the fourth position of quinolin, it is called as uh, quinolin methanol. And quinolin methanol derivatives were found to have anti-malarial properties. And the drugs belonging to this category are mefloquine and the natural compound quinine, isolated from the Syncona bark way back in the 18th century. So these are the first three class of drugs. Next is this particular structure. Here you can see again a quinolin ring and to the right side of the quinolin ring one more benzene ring is attached and uh, this whole structure is called as acridine or I can say in acridine there are mainly three rings all together. The first ring is a benzene, the second ring is a pyridine and the th third ring is again a benzene. And here the numbering starts from the benzene ring. You can start it from either of the benzene ring. I would start uh, the numbering from benzene ring on the right side and the numbering goes on like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now if you substitute the 9th position of acridine by an amino group it would become 9 amino acridine and uh, mepacrine is a 9 amino acridine derivative having anti-malarial action. Next structure is a six-membered ring with the two nitrogen atoms at alternate positions and you will be quite familiar with this structure. Yes, this is pyrimidine and you can start uh, the numbering from either of the nitrogen. However, I would start the numbering from the bottom nitrogen and the numbering goes on like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, if you substitute the second and the fourth position of pyrimidine by a an amino group it is called as 2,4-diaminopyrimidines. Pyrimethamine and trimethoprim are anti-malarial drugs which are derivatives of 2,4-diaminopyrimidine. Uh, uh, next uh, can you identify this stru particular structure? Yes this is uh, guanidine. Had it been NH2 C double bond NH2 it would have become urea. That means in the urea structure, if you replace the oxygen atom with an NH group, it would become guanidine. Now, this is another molecule of uh, guanidine. And if you condense these two guanidine molecules together with the release of an ammonia molecule, it would become biguanate. Biguanate is a very common pharmaceutical moiety. And if you remember the anti-diabetic drugs like metformin, and fenformin, they all are biguanate derivatives. So apart from the anti-diabetic action, some of the biguanate derivatives have found to have anti-malarial properties. And the drugs belonging to this category are proguanil, chlorproguanil, and cycloguanil. 
Next, uh, this is a sulfone group where a sulfur atom is attached to two oxygen atoms and R groups. And dapsone is uh, a very commonly used anti-leprotic drug. It's a sulfone derivative which has also got an anti-malarial action. And this is the structure of dapsone where you replaced uh, both the R groups by an amino phenyl group and that is why dapsone is called as uh, diamino diphenyl sulfone or in short you call call it as uh, dds next in the structure uh, you can again see a sulfone group however uh, this time it is attached to a nitrogen atom and this is called as sulfonamide moiety and the sulfonamide uh, group again it's a very common pharmaceutical moiety where it mainly belonged to the antibacterial category and some of the sulfonamide derivatives like sulfadoxin and uh, sulfamethopyrosin uh, have been shown to have anti-malarial action next you will be uh, quite familiar with the structure where two benzene rings are fused together Yes, uh, this is nothing but naphthalene ring and if you attach a double bond oxygen group at the first and fourth position in the naphthalene, it is called as a 1,4 naphthoquinone and atovacune is a 1,4 naphthoquinone derivative having anti-malarial action. Now again naphthalene and if you replace uh, the carbon atom uh, at the first and the fifth position of naphthalene ring with the nitrogen atoms, this is called as naphthiridine and in fact it is 1,5 naphthiridine. Pyronaridine is a 1,5 naphthiridine derivative having anti-malarial action. Next uh, is the tetracycline class of drugs uh, which you might have all learned as a broad spectrum antibiotic. So the drug like doxycycline, one of the widely used tetracycline group of drug have anti-malarial action. And this is the structure of doxycycline. I have just put the structure to make you understand that uh, doxycycline contains uh, four cyclic rings and that's how the name tetracycline had come. The detailed chemistry of these drugs will be dealt in the respective chapters. Now, in this structure, uh, you can see three benzene rings are fused together and out of this one of the benzene ring is fused as a branch and this is called as phenanthrene and if you add a methanol group to this it is called as phenanthrene methanol halofandrine and lumifandrine are drugs which are derivatives of uh, phenanthrene methanol having anti-malarial action now we will move to the last uh, category in this uh, classification which is called as uh, sesquiterpene terpene lactone derivatives and the drugs belonging to this category are one of the fastest acting anti-malarial drugs uh, derived from a Chinese herb and the drugs uh, are uh, mainly artemisinin and the derivatives of artemisinin such as uh, dihydro artemisinin, artemether, arteether and artesunate all of these drugs belong to sesquiterpene terpene lactone derivatives so with that, we have come to the end of the classification of anti-malarial drugs based on its chemistry. Hope you really understood and enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like this video, do subscribe to this channel, Sedu Satsavi Tutorials, to learn more and more in the way it has to be learned. With that, I'm signing off. See you again with a new video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.